All right, guys, so I'm going to attempt to do a plowing video here. Um, I have no idea how well it's going to work, but I'll give it a shot and see, see how it goes here. Hopefully, my camera kind of stays in place. Guarantee, though, it's going to fall out over here at some point. Well, we're just over at the shop here. Um, I'm going to turn around. And hopefully, this shot works pretty well. Uh, looks like the camera will stay okay, maybe, if I just kind of keep an eye on it. Uh, I apologize if it does fall down here at any point. I will get it if I can. Hold on here, I gotta cross the road and make sure no one's coming. I hate this, I can't see out my window. Not to defroster on here. And, again, we're into the uh, GMC 2500. Um, pretty nice truck. Not too bad. Runs a little better now. And my stepdad's using the Chevy 3500 to plow a bit. I don't know if you can see him or not, but. get a bit too, a little too brave, uh, a little too risky here. should work with this. I'll just try not to hit the snowbank too hard anymore because that's the big thing that makes this camera fall down as you can tell. There's a lot of freaking snow here guys. A lot of snow. I know you guys can't necessarily see it as well but six inches all at once here. Um, if I were to do this in two wheel drive, I wouldn't even be getting anywhere. But uh, tell you what guys, just for the heck of it, I'll do a swipe in two wheel drive and show you how that works. 
Um, in case you don't know the difference between how well two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive work when it works when it comes to plowing because this plow lifts a lot of weight off that front end. See, I got a lot of power going to those rear wheels and I'm not even moving here, so. I can't even back up in two-wheel drive. Alright, so we'll lock her back into four though. Pull her back into four. And there we go. So four-wheel drive makes a big difference with this, see? Because now I was able to get right into this stuff here. So if this truck was in four-wheel drive, this would be impossible to plow. Now the trick with plowing here guys is you just kind of take your time. Um, you know, it might take a couple of times or so to get a pattern established as for how you're going to plow an area, but really the big thing with plowing is just take your time, pay close attention to what's around you, what you're doing, and you should be alright. Oh, I don't want my blade angled. Go straight. There we are. That's better. Because these blades are designed so that if too much pressure goes on one side of the blade or the other, it will just make the blade angle automatically so that you're not blowing lines and all that stuff. But I think this actually is a really nice angle here with this camera now. It's just a matter of not hitting a snowbank too hard, which seems to be working better now, now that I'm not hitting them so bad. quite sure how well you guys can see but looks like you got a pretty good view there at least of the plow which is all you really need to see because that's what this video is about oh it's not how hard i wanted to hit that but it worked i guess and these banks are probably getting stacked a good six feet high or so right now now good plow guy yes you can probably see i'm spilling a lot of snow here but that happens with this stuff because there's just so much that you can't wind roll it or nothing. You have to just go straight on like I'm pretty much doing here. And this heat's cooking me right out of this thing. I might have to crack a window or turn the heat down, I suppose, too. But this isn't too bad. I enjoy this. Well, there's a lot you gotta really pay attention to when you're plowing. There's just so much stuff going on around you usually, especially when you got um, people driving around and all that, and a bunch of other obstacles. You gotta really watch where you're going. There, we'll give you a nice big push here. This will be a big one. Whoa, there you go, guys. How was that one for you? That was a big one. You gotta be really careful about that though, because you get this plow hung up on a snowbank. <laughs> Have fun. It's really not good when you get hung up on snowbanks. And you can see there's a lot of snow piling up here. I mean a lot of snow. We're going to go back to going this way. Just drop the blade. And the trick is don't hit a snowbank too hard like I did earlier. Because it's hard on the truck and it's... I mean, you know, you can see I'm trying to video here and if I go too hard and hit a snowbank too hard, you guys saw what it does there, knocks the camera right out of place, I get jerked all around. But yeah, so if you guys are just kind of learning how to plow, oh boy that was close, I almost backed right into the place here. Now see I know he's around here somewhere with that other plow, the trick is making sure he's not coming around right as I'm coming up to the road here, because my stepdad's in the other plow truck. I do like this truck though. Really nice truck overall. Not half bad. Um, I 
apologize that the video quality isn't as good as my normal videos because, like I said, my Galaxy S4 is broken. I don't know if you guys saw that video. Oh, that was close. See, I wasn't paying attention there. Another few inches, I would have backed right into that pillar. That wouldn't have been good. Oh. See, you can see how that probably, you can maybe see that. It kind of angled the blade a bit. stuff is so dead how slow this plow is responding right now. Come on. There we are. Yeah, so it's not too bad. We're going to turn that heat down a notch because this stuff's almost cooking me out of here. I could be sitting in here in a short sleeve shirt and still be fine. I might just do that. Coat off here because it's both kind of uncomfortable in this stuff. And I think we're starting to run low on fuel. In fact, well, you guys can't see it, but I can. This windshield is so warm right now from this defroster that um, any snow that gets on it actually steams off of it. So we're gonna hopefully we can get this. I would turn the radio on, but then I'd probably get a flipping notice for copyright infringement crap. That stupid stuff. Seriously, come on. So you see, a good plow guy can stack this stuff pretty high. And this truck actually does a really wonderful job of stacking. It's just a matter of hitting the snowbanks, right, and not hitting them at 100 miles an hour. Because you guys saw what happens when I hit them at, like, a really fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might have done her now, boys. Nope, we're good. Whoa, boy. Ooh, that jumped me right over there. I'd set the camera outside the truck, but then, then I don't know if it's still gone and all that other crap. Like, you know, I don't know if the, you know, that, and then it's just so dark out right now, there's not much you'd even see outside. What I mean, so it's just better to do it this way. Oh, yeah, there that's why I was almost getting stuck. There's a lot of snow there, that was a lot of snow that I had to go through there. Now, see, the trick is if you want to learn to be really good at stacking, first you got to learn your plow, learn how it responds. Um, this plow here, not the greatest plow, it has some issues. But it works, and I've used it enough now that I'm able to kind of have the feel of how quick it raises and how quick it turns and stuff when it's working good. So that's where the trick comes in when stacking onto a snowbank. You got to get your timing right about when you lift the blade up. Because if you put it in float mode, um, some vehicles work nicely, other vehicles not so much. So you can see that one actually worked pretty nicely there for that stack. This looks like that camera's still got a nice angle on the blade and stuff here. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I think that's actually a pretty cool angle because you're actually able to see the plow and what I'm moving, at least for the most part. But I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully you guys like it. And see, you can see this blade even just went to the left on its own there completely. And there wasn't even that much stuff there to push it. It's just, I don't know, this plow, is, you know, and it's probably low on hydraulic fluid, too. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, my high beam's on? Yeah, I have my high beam's on. I mean, but there's just a lot of freaking snow here, and I mean a lot of snow. Like, no joke. There's a lot of snow here, guys. I'll be here for a while. Uh, we've been plowing snow for the last probably. 
probably three hours now. Well, I don't know because I can't tell what time it actually is because the clock in this truck is off. So that's why it sucks so much juice out of this battery. And a lot of it's because they put the wrong one on, so that's why these headlights did so much. Because it sucks so much um, juice out of the battery. There. Yeah, I like this angle. I think that looks good. So now if I can just make sure I don't wreck the camera and make it fall down again. Because it's a freaking buck to deal with because you sit there and when you're putting it up there you accidentally hit the pause or the start and stop button so you're putting it up there and you start the video and you hit the freaking button to stop it and then you gotta start all over again but I don't know how much time I'll have on this camera like how long the SD card will last so <clears throat> hopefully long enough so you guys get the general idea of the whole plow and stuff here and hopefully you guys enjoy it because I enjoy it. I think plowing's a lot of fun. Especially when you pay, or not when you pay attention, but especially when everything goes right, and yeah, sometimes I find it really fun to just hit these really big snow banks. I did that because that guy there was coming at me. I don't want to blind him. Uh, you guys probably didn't see it because it was off camera a bit. But. Anyways, kind of running out of stuff to say here. But yeah, I mean, if you guys got some questions about this truck or anything that I might be able to answer, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh oh, boys. Oh, there we go. Kind of getting stuck there. Turn my heat back on. It's getting cold already again. Again. 
here when I get this video posted um, leave a comment and let me know what you actually think of this angle of this video if you like it or not and if you'd like to see another plowing video like this if I can get one uh, we'll see what I can do but as in if I can get one if you guys would like one let me know and I'll try my best to get another one and maybe even a daytime one instead so you can actually kind of see what's going on better and I don't know how much time is left on this camera but I know that this doesn't last near as long as what my phone allows me to go. But, oh well. Oh well. At least I can even get a video. See, I don't know if you could maybe see that there, how the blade just kind of randomly went left. up and crap 
on the topper and it's full of ice and snow and crap. So I really have to rely on my mirrors. So what you gotta do when you're plowing is you really gotta learn how to use your mirrors and all that fun stuff. But it's really not that hard to use mirrors if you know what you're doing. You just basically use that to judge about where you're at and judge your distances. I find it pretty easy to use them. Granted, the distances aren't exactly accurate all the time, but, you know, it helps. Snowbank or something, or a big pile of snow really quick or hard, 
And it just looks awesome the way it flies up and stuff. Some of you might know what I'm talking about if you've ever really watched the plowing video before. Or if you yourself have even plowed. Ugh. That was kind of a hard hit. Stepdad's helping me now. Um, he was working on other areas. But he must have finished those areas because now he came over here. Anyways, you guys can see that plowing can actually be really time consuming because, I mean, granted, this is a parking lot I'm doing, but. Stuff takes time. Even when there's only a few inches of snow, this stuff takes me a while. But I think I'm not doing too bad.
it seems to be working really good in this plow now. Before it wasn't working as well. Like if you leave, left it in the float position, it wouldn't really ride up the snow pile very well. It would just kind of sit there. Oh boy, she's starting to stall out. We're running low on fuel. Oh boy, that's probably a seven foot deep snow pile there. She gets pretty deep here, guys. Sorry about that guys. I did not know that this the camera shut off again. Terribly sorry about that. Well anyways I hope you guys got the general idea. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna back up a bit because we're hanging out in the road a bit here and that there's a car coming. There we are. To get over there and that's it thanks for watching guys have a good day or night or whatever see you later